you know, uh, th there was a paper published uh, last year or uh, and this year um, that, you know, uh, a scientific paper that showed that, um, you know, just doing single sets to failure, you know, once or twice a week, you know, very slow, very controlled, very intense, but very safe exercise, you know, resistance training is all you need to get as strong as you can, get as fit as you can cardiovascularly, um, you know, just get as, you know, as good as you can. Um, you know, you should have a read of it and send them a link to it. And then they go and realise that, Oh, the person I was talking to was one of the authors of that paper. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice. always easier. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in general, that's it. I, I like to. Um, and I'm unfortunate that that being an author on, on those papers lends a bit of weight in terms of those situations. Um, so when you when I meet someone who is interested in that, um, people always react with scepticism because they're so indoctrinated into what the fitness industry presents to them. And um, so it's nice to be able to say. This is the approach you should take. Single sets to failure, slow and controlled, progressive, perform using whatever equipment is available, um, infrequent, allow yourself to recover, allow yourself to adapt, go in, do exactly the same thing again, record everything you do meticulously so you know how you're improving. Um, the reactions usually get uh, skepticism and then realization that, wow, that sounds a lot easier than what I'm doing right now, uh -huh. <laughs> a lot more simple. Um, and then. Setting the, sending them off to say, look, here's the research that shows that this is, this is the best way to do it.